To the ice now, and a surprising stat for a more surprising team. Ottawa has as many goals in the third period as the Bruins do in regulation this season. Naoko Funayama was at B's practice on Monday, where she says the focus was on more than just scoring. The Bruins returned to work on the ice on Monday and once again addressed questions about frustration. But Coach Julian has stressed not looking too much at the big picture for the big picture can be overwhelming. He did say, though, that this is a rough patch for the Bruins and they will certainly not be able to afford any more of these through the course of the season. Big pictures can be scary. And uh, right now we should be looking at the small picture, which is one game at a time. And uh, once you... Uh, get yourself back on track, usually the rest of it takes care of itself. It's always going to be frustration, obviously, when things don't go your way, and it's almost like a like a reverse effect, like, like you're in quicksand, right? You know, you, when you're trying too hard, you know, it tends to, you know, you, it, go the other way on you. So I think uh, for ourselves as a team right now, I think we need, just need to focus on what we do best and, and keep our... And, 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 and simplify our game more than anything. We have to take it one game at a time, and if we can, if we can, uh, you know, get a win here tomorrow night and, and uh, kind of get our, our confidence back a bit, then maybe we can kind of uh, push that out of the room and then out of our minds and, and hopefully get on a roll. Being frustrated is not going to help. Um, feeling sorry for yourself is not going to help. And uh, you know, the uh, the solutions in this room. Um, so it's up to us to find it. The quest to dig themselves out of this hole does not get any easier for the Bruins. They have two games against division opponents this week, one in Toronto later on this week, but on Tuesday against the Ottawa Senators, a team currently riding a six-game win streak. In Wilmington, with the Bruins, I'm Naoko Funayama for Nesson Daily. All right, good stuff as always, Nalco. Thank you very much. And, and listen, unless you've been living in a Zamboni barn, you know the bees are suffering from a Stanley Cup hangover. A look at the last five champs and how they fared through their first 10 games of their title defense shows us the Bruins are struggling at a historic clip. Ah, but all is not lost. Nesson's Jack Edwards now with three things the bees can do to get back on track. They've put themselves in a very, very difficult mathematical situation. They can't think about the big picture. They gotta think about the little picture, and the little picture is winning this shift. And then the next guys over the boards have to win that shift. It's as simple as that. Thing number two, they must remain disciplined. We saw Montreal successfully goad the Bruins into taking some full penalties. The Bruins did take the bait. They ate it hook, line, and sinker. And Every other team is going to have at least one or two players try that kind of stuff. Thing number three that the Bruins have to do is they have to keep Jason Spezza under control. This guy is on fire right now. He has Ottawa playing much better hockey than anyone had expected, and they've got to keep his offense controlled. If they don't, they could get behind early. The Bruins have trailed in every single game this season except one, which was the Tampa Bay game, and that was against a very tired team. Ottawa is not going to be tired. It's going to be motivated, and the Bruins have their work cut out for them.